when you ask the question, how will this evolve, uh, you know, I wish I knew. Um, on the other hand, I'm sort of glad I don't because it encourages us to experiment in all these ways and that's what all of these things really are, is experiment. What couldn't be clearer is that the consumer of news is more in the driver's seat than ever before. And we think consumers are going to tell us where and how they want to consume information. We just want to make it our business to be there the way they want us to be there. While we stay true to our principles, we're journalists. Facts matter. Information, good, clear information ma matters. Smart analysis really matters. Discerning truth from spin, all of that really matters. That's what we want to deliver along with the raw information that's out there every day on the political circuit and we want to deliver it in as many ways as many places as we possibly can and we'll be able to watch very carefully and see where people are responding and where they're not and kind of move our horses into that that piece of the picture we're very proud of how we're doing with video we had over 125 million video streams in march uh, and the numbers keep trending upwards uh, video is a real real factor on the internet in a way that it simply wasn't four years ago uh, there are any number of things that have to do with that. Uh, one is the improving connections. More and more people have high-speed good connections that make the video viewing experience online a good experience. Our new player, which was launched a few months ago, is really an awesome piece of technology. It works very well. It's a great experience for a user to consume. Uh, if you go to uh, Nightly News, uh, nightly.msnbc.com, you're going to see a whole new experience for a network nightly newscast that you know isn't your father's newscast. It is the pieces that encompass the 30-minute broadcast on television split out and spread, spread out with additional content on all of those topics so that when you come to the site you can engage with all of that video, read Brian's blog, arrange it in the order you want to or skip around and, and consume the content and export it to your blog. You can embed it on your blog, put it in your places on the web to share with your friends and an audience that you may have. That's the 2.0 kind of thinking that we all need to have.